Okay, before I say anything at all, can we just appreciate what's happening behind me right now? I'm stuck in a snowstorm in Iceland in the Lake Mivat area, which is up north. And there's two days of this. So we were going to stay in the Mink the entire time because I'm camper vanning around Iceland. But I thought there's kind of no point because everything in the area everything in the area is closed everything so the beautiful people at Foss Hotel took us in and um, so we're having two days of just kind of lounging around but I'm having the best time this is polar opposite to what I'm used to as an Australian so I appreciate this so much I've been outside for like half an hour taking photos and videos of this beautiful scenery I think it's time to go back inside because I can hardly feel my fingers now <laughs> in a snowstorm means that you have a lot of time to reflect and one of the things I've been reflecting on a lot lately is my travel influencer journey because it kind of happened by mistake and it's just been over 12 months now so it got me thinking about all the little bits and pieces of what goes into being a travel influencer and that includes photographs <laughs> so I really wanted to go back in time and look at my old photos from um, traveling because I think it's always funny to watch someone being really shit at something <laughs> and right now I'm feeling pretty good about my photos no I'm not perfect at it but my photos are getting pretty good and I think that's reflected in the fact that brand when I contact them now to work with them they don't ignore me or they don't just say straight out no they're like oh we like your stuff <laughs> which is just so crazy because I was so bad just a couple of years ago actually just a year ago so it means I must be going on track I think it's important just to mention quickly my journey of photography I had a very short amount of time when I was training with a portrait photographer and then I accidentally also landed a job at a photography agency <laughs> <laughs> it happened all very fast so my training is quite limited and then I've just been studying a lot of people and also copying a lot of people I guess it's a form of flattery when you copy someone a lot but it's also a perfect way to learn as fast as possible I think you have to imitate as much as possible and eventually start developing your own style which is kind of what I've gotten to right now but I have been sort of interested in photography for maybe 10 years so, without further ado let's go back into the archives and see how it I was <laughs> I would love to thank Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Whether you need a domain, website or online store, do it with Squarespace. I have personally been a happy customer of Squarespace for years now and I absolutely love the designer templates, which because I change my mind so much, I switch them all the time and it's really easy to configure every single one of them. And the website is an all-in-one platform, so I just recently started selling a few things of mine. So I have an online store and I didn't have to put any plugins whatsoever. Everything you need is in the one space in Squarespace. <laughs> they also have award-winning 24 seven customer service. So I have personally emailed them at three o'clock in the morning when I needed to get some stuff done and they respond so ridiculously quickly. Squarespace has really helped me to capture all my adventures in one spot because I love to have my photos up there, blog posts, videos, and now my online store. If you're on a hunt for a professional website, I highly recommend this and you get 10% off. If you go to squarespace.com forward slash Sorel and you'll get the 10% off for your first website or domain. Thank you Squarespace for sponsoring this channel and allowing me to travel. My much more. <laughs> I'm going now back to the archives, my Facebook page. I think this is when I first got a camera. I don't know why I do that so much. <laughs> so these photos were from a 2010 album. That is eight years ago. That makes me 21 when I posted this. Mm. I haven't seen these for a long time. So this is going to be real fun. Oh my. Oh damn. Wow. I mean, it's moody. I really love in particular how I used to add borders to my photography with the drop shadow. This was a trend. I recently saw a video with Peter McKinnon and he also added these borders. So I know this was a thing. It wasn't just me. And I also obviously added my watermark, which is just beautiful. Really nice font there, Sorel. Really great job. My wildlife photography. Oh, the days when you would black out most of it and just have one in color to pop. <laughs> And here is another photo I just recently took, just over a year ago, of animals. I mean, it's a beautiful image, uh, sort of, but the drop shadow. Wow. Uh, I watermarked it. <clears throat> I have to blur this one out. This is so mean. This is what you do not do. 101 photography. It's an image of my ex-boyfriend's mom that's lounging around relaxing. And I sneakily took this photo and uploaded it. And she even commented, that was terrible. What were you thinking? And I left it up. This is so rude. If someone doesn't agree for a photo to be posted, and if they don't look their best, like why would you upload a photo where someone doesn't look their best? This has to be deleted right now. This was the beginning of my self-portrait career. So these are the portraits I take of myself now. So 
I set up my camera on a, a cupboard and the only way that I could fit into the pictures is if I put myself on a stool. And then I was like, well, what do models do these days? <laughs> hand on the hip, put my hand up. Yeah, because that's exactly what, what the hell? I don't know why I left the green door. I don't even think it's green, to be honest, in real life. So I don't watermark my photos at all anymore because I just don't see the point because if someone's gonna steal it, they're gonna steal it. So, so watermarking them, especially photos of yourself just doesn't make any sense. But back in the day, I thought that was wise. Oh, a pot. Vintage is the caption. Oh my God, why did I do this? It's a photo of a shell. Oh, it's just so boring of a photo. One thing I learned about photography is that the wow factor is really important. So if you take a photo of something, you should be like, whoa, that was crazy. No one looks at shells and it's like, whoa. I wanted to highlight this photo because this one, as weird as it might sound, is still one of my favorite photos I've ever taken. And I mean, it's not crazy spectacular and beautiful. I just like it. I think the colors are stunning. I think the detail is stunning and I, I like spiders. So if you're afraid of spiders, I'll get rid of it now. <laughs> I wonder how many people I already lost from that because they're like, ah! <laughs> and I think this photo was kind of the time when I was like, oh, maybe I have something. And it kind of just kept me hanging on to the possibility that I could get better and exploring photography. So that was, that's an important photo in my life. I remember editing this photo. It took me hours to edit this photo. <laughs> I think my two versions was like one slightly darker, one slightly brighter. And I was, for hours I was deciding. And then I was showing my friend, I was like, which one do you like? And I think they were like, uh, it's a shit photo anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> I would say that the majority of you that follow me know me for my Icelandic work. So let's go back in the archives two years ago when I first came to Iceland and I photographed a little bit of Iceland. And let's do a little comparison. <laughs> no. The first one in particular I want to highlight is this one. I was so proud of this photo, but I cannot tell you how oversaturated and how much purple was added to this photo. The plain photo, I don't have it anymore. I got rid of it. Good work, Sorel. Perfect workflow there. It's so plain, but I thought this was a gem alongside with this one. Nothing like that in real life. More resembling something like this. Ooh, that's not even good. Oh, they're just so plain and boring. Here I was fascinated by the reflection and the mountains are too dark and everything. Why is everything so saturated? So this is my first time uh, at the Glacier Lagoon. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's out of focus. It's ugly, it's oversaturated. It's just, I really thought these photos were good at the beginning. Oh, this is a perfect one shot. So you know how I do my glacier shot that's gone like pretty viral. People love this shot so much. But I took this photo two years ago when I first arrived to Iceland. And so the comparison of this, isn't this a drastic difference? It's the same concept for one is clearly beautiful, taken at the right time, at the right angle. And this one's just kind of like, eh. At least I don't uh, watermark my photos anymore. So no one knows who took that bad photo. <laughs> Oh no, oh, oh, oh damn. Okay, Aurora Borealis, oh nasty. There is no skill level involved in this except extremely high saturation of the photo and long exposure. I was sitting with these horses for hours just grabbing photos of them. Right now, this is how I would go about taking my photos. Then the last photos I wanna to touch on are my bikini in the snow photos because <laughs> this is kind of what started getting people noticing me as a photographer, even though this whole entire concept of photos was a complete joke but I do appreciate them still and I want to do them again, but a much more delicate and beautiful version instead of like really, really photoshopped and awkward looking. <laughs> They're pretty fun. And I think a good way to wrap up this video to show the difference between my portraits back then when I was just learning photography and when I developed it to be much more natural and beautiful. And I know some of you guys are gonna say you much prefer the Bikini in the Snow because they are funner and probably more original. Um, but I just don't see myself doing that kind of style of photography anymore. The very first one ever. Look at me go. I thought it was hilarious to just lie down on a towel and take a photo of myself relaxing in the snow because no one does that. It was so funny. And the response of everyone for it was just the best. So I was like, I'm going to keep going. And then Buzzfeed picked up on it and Digital Rev and Daily Mail as well. Like people wrote about it, so they loved it. <laughs> this one is so cute. Umbrellas don't really exist in Iceland. <laughs> so I just Photoshopped it in. These are so fun. And here are the rest of them, just a quick. 
I attribute my growth to, as I said, following people, copying people a lot. Um, sorry to everyone that I've copied. I needed to grow. You want to choose to copy my stuff. Not that I'm perfect, but it just gives you a template to work towards. And I think it's really beneficial to do so. And ultimately it's just practice and editing and watching tutorials online, how to edit better, how to take photos better. You see some effects, some of you like, how do I do that? I want to do that. You research it and you follow people that really inspire you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this journey of my photography. <laughs> If you are brand new to photography or if you are losing hope in your photography right now, hang in there because if it really is a passion of yours, you're never going to give it up. And you might have periods where you're like, I'm done. The amount of times I've thought that to myself, like, oh, I'm not made for it. I suck. I suck. Oh. If I had a dollar for the amount of times that happened, I'm interested to see how good I can get because I've seen how bad I was and the progress, especially in the last two years. When I've taken photography seriously, probably the last year has been the biggest growth opportunity for me because I really focused on it and it was a struggle and it is a struggle every single day because I'm still learning. But I hope this is an inspiration for you guys and that's about it. So let me know if you are trying to do photography or if you are a photographer or if this video is inspired you to keep going or if generally you just wanted to see how bad I was. <laughs> that is all from me. I hope you guys like, subscribe and hit the bell. I like your face a lot and I cannot wait to see you again. So until then. <laughs>